Hi everyone. Let us see something about file transfer protocol. So transferring files from one computer to another and one device to another has been the main requirement of networking from the history itself. So whether it is internet networking or networking among uh, the computers within a campus, right? so transfer of files is much more important. And as a matter of fact, the greatest volume of data exchange in the internet today is due to transfer of files and attachments. So FTP uses the services of TCP. It needs two TCP connections. So well-known port 21 is used for the control, uh, control connection and well-known port 20 is used for data connection to transfer the data. So uh, the file transfer protocol works like this. So we have the user interacting with the user interface and we have the control process uh, first to control the connection with the client. Let it be a server without the user or let it be another computer with user. So wherever it is the con uh, control process is con controlling the uh, control connection creating the control connection and controlling it whereas after the control is over the data transfer takes place and the data gets transferred either from clients uh, machine hard disk to servers uh, workspace or from servers uh, web space to the clients machine hard disk so this is how the file transfer protocol take takes place through the TCP IP layers. Now, what about this control connection? How does it happen? So, when uh, the client sends a local request, the local code comes to the control process representing what is going to be did. Then, that control process may not be sent, uh, the, the control process will not send the data as it is but it will be converted into network virtual terminal ASCII character and that will go as a uh, request to the control process in the server side whereas the local uh, uh, control process in the server side will convert it into local code and communicate it to the server and in return the response will also be converted into the common uh, uh, NVT ASCII character set only then it will be communicated to the client because that may be of any format it also considers uh, the non ASCII values to be converted into NVT ASCII and being sent so this so uh, when when it is going to be data connection that uh, from the local data type and structure the data transfer process in the client initiates the data transfer so there what is being sent that the file type is to be specified the data structure in which the data flows and the transmission mode uh, in which the data is being sent are also defined by the client and uh, the data is being received at the data transfer uh, uh, process at the server and that is being given to the hard disk or uh, uh, the storage media in the server side and the reverse the vice versa is also true now let us see example of uh, FTP happening so there is an actual FTP session for retrieving the list of items in a directory we know uh, in case of uh, uh, in case of DOS operating system we will use DIR command to list out the files in case of uh, Linux or Unix we will use LS command so here we are going to see this FTP session where first command goes like FTP uh, the corresponding see the colored line show the responses from the uh, server control connection black line shows the command sent by the client so our client is going to send the command the lines in the white uh, with the black background are showing data transfer okay so after the control connection is created the FTP server sends 220 response so 
well, while we request for FTP the server name then uh, connected to this corresponding uh, server and once the connection is established then we get 220 and then it is going to say 530 uh, uh, the client sends its name and the ser server responds with 331 so uh, now 530 please log in with user and password now uh, we have to specify the username so uh, when we specify name of colon the username then 331 please specify the password so this is the code to denote the response code to denote that the password has to be given so the password is asked and uh, when we enter the password the password should not be visible outside so it is not uh, uh, shown out and once the password proper password is entered 230 is being shown showing that the login is successful and then uh, see uh, 230 shows the login is successful so the client sends the list command to find the list of files on the directory named repo now the server responds with 150 and opens the data connection so now remote system type is unix using binary mode to transfer files then uh, in ftp ls reports is being sent now with 227 entering the passive mode uh, the server goes to passive mode 150 here comes the directory listing so directory is being listed the data transfer happens so the connection control connection happened and now the data transfer is over Dir 226 directory sent ok and now in order to uh, quit the client sends a quit command and the server responds with 221 so 221 says ok bye right so this is how uh, an actual ftp sessions happens for transferring the list of items in a directory now let us see an example of anonymous ftp and uh, uh, we assume that some public data are available at internic.net so ftp internic.net so it is connected and uh, 220 server is ready when name is asked we say anonymous so it need not be uh, a known person asking for some data it may be a file transfer where the, he may be a guest so when you say anonymous it says uh, uh, 331 guest login ok send guest as password a temporary password is being given so password is entered now uh, it is uh, we, we are asking for pwt that is uh, the password P pwd is being entered now 257 slash is the current directory which uh, uh, shows what is the corresponding directory which is ready now uh, that is in the root directory only so now we ask for ls and immediately it responds with 200 ok and it, it is opening in ascii mode con uh, taking the data from there and converting in ascii mode and displaying you the list of files in the uh, in the directory right so bin etc all these are folders and then finally close is being given so the uh, close will close the corresponding uh, ftp connection and quit is also being used similar to the previous one right so uh, the response will be obtained as 221 already since we have obtained in uh, with close here it is not required so this is how ftp works thank you